Mm -hmm. Can you talk to me a bit about neurotransmitters and what are some of the biggest issues with neurotransmitters that you see as relating to this mental health story? And, uh, and then secondary to that, can you talk a bit about how nutrition relates to neurotransmitter optimization? Sure, in a way that I have, but I didn't use the words that would enable you to know that I had. So some of this is a little bit redundant. Um, in chapter two of our book, uh, we, we convinced our editors that even though this is for the general public, we really could have one little diagram showing some brain metabolism. So it's a tiny little piece of the tryptophan to serotonin metabolism. The tryptophan is an amino acid, which is a precursor to serotonin. Now, everybody knows that serotonin is a good neurotransmitter to have. That's, it is believed that that's why some medications called SSRI, serotonin, uh, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, are helpful because it leaves more serotonin in the synaptic cleft. Well, what the micronutrients do is much more fundamental. It enables your brain to do what it's supposed to do, which is to synthesize more serotonin. How does it do it? Because if you're giving your brain a whole bunch of micronutrients at all times, and actually I want to say something about time, um, then there will be plenty of cofactors on board and you will be optimizing your production of serotonin. And in that tiny little diagram that we have in chapter two, I've forgotten now, but I think there were about 12 micronutrients to make that happen. So it really illustrates why one nutrient, I mean, your next door neighbor may say, oh, I think you should take vitamin B6. I hear it's really good for the brain. And I agree, it's really good, okay? <laughs> but why would you take just one? We're, we have evolved to need them all and in balance. Mm -hmm. um, I, yeah, I made a note here to say something about tons. This, I want to give you a little factoid that a lot of people find this is something that they remember and can kind of grab onto. Um, I mentioned that our brain is the greediest organ. And so uh, the one way to look at this is that there is roughly um, five or six liters of blood going through in us at any given time as adults now, okay? And our brain is only 2% of our body weight. And so you would think that 2% of the blood would be up in our brain at any given time, but you would be wrong. It's at least 10 times that amount. Wow. Our brain vasculature is incredibly, incredibly complex. And so it is sucking up way more of the micronutrients than any other organ. Every minute of your entire life, it is absorbing 20 to 40% of the nutrients that you are feeding it. That's why it's so important to think every time you take a bite of food, what am I feeding my brain? Mm 